With overuse injuries, and we'll use Achilles tendons as, a, as an example, because that's probably one of the most common uh, overuse running injuries, there's two types of tendons that we see, and you, some of you may have experienced these. These grotty, ongoing, horrible-looking tendons that are just giving you grief for a long period of time, and you sort of manage them, and that's okay. Then there's the other type of tendon problem where you're saying, I'm kind of okay, no problems at all, and then you go and do too much running and bang, you get this really horrible, acute, agonizing tendon pain. They're the two things that, that we see. The reason I mention that is because what you need to do about them is distinctly different for each one. Okay, the grotty tendon we'll cover first. Again, that isometric loading that I spoke about with the muscles is really valuable. So if anyone here suffer, is suffering from tendon pain, then I can't encourage you enough to be doing some isometric loading. And it's quite simple. Again, back on the edge of your step, on that affected leg, and just stand there and hold it. 10 lots of 10 seconds, I reckon, is going to be pretty good. All right? And you'll no you should notice immediate, significant pain relief. And it's also stimulating some healing as well. Okay, so that isometric loading for tendon problems is really good. All right? Oh, yep, there we go. 10 lots of 10 seconds, a couple times a day. The other thing as well is the strength side of things can't be overstated, okay? You don't ever see tendon problems where strength deficiencies aren't the number one thing that's giving rise to this. So getting strong is the big solution to getting over this. And then in terms of managing the overuse component, again, it's about collaborating with your coach and your physio and your own inner demons to make sure that you're not overdoing your training. And we're all guilty of it, but you know, more isn't always more. Okay? And that needs to be managed, and it needs to be managed relative to what you can tolerate. Because okay? again, we just don't ever see anyone coming in and saying, I've been running this really steady amount, and it's not fluctuated much, and I've just been gradually increasing it, and all of a sudden I've got a tendon problem. That just doesn't happen. Okay, so if you can moderate your consistent running load, there really shouldn't be a problem. With the acute tendon flare, the isometric loading, again, is really good. Okay, repeating theme here for an exercise that you can do if you have tendon problems. Unlike muscle injuries where anti-inflammatories are out, with tendon injuries, anti-inflammatories are definitely in. Okay, they're really good for acute tendon pain. Okay, so uh, see the appropriate person to get the advice on that. We'd certainly recommend it. Okay, I think there's a role for massage to play um, at this point. If you've got an acute grotty tendon, quite often some massage can be quite therapeutic. So I'd definitely give that a go. All right. We don't like resting tendons too much. Okay, they don't like being underloaded. But I think in this situation, if it's just blown up, to have a week or so giving relatively little load to that tendon, and we're talking not running, is probably not a bad idea. Okay? There's a t I don't know whether or not anyone's had this. It, it'll pass you by if you haven't. You can get tendon, Achilles tendon pain that goes right into the heel. Okay? People come in and they say, I've got this heel pain. It's not in my Achilles, it's in my heel. If that's you, getting some orthotics is probably a good idea to take some pressure off that tendon. That's a one-off situation. I don't know, maybe people have got insertional tendon pain here. But if, if it is you, then that's probably something I would, I would support. Okay? The things I wouldn't do, I wouldn't stretch it. I certainly wouldn't do that. I certainly wouldn't let anyone inject it. And with the exception of very extreme situations, I wouldn't have an operation on it. Okay? A bit extreme there, but I couldn't not say that. 